Hi guys, Squall here. Welcome back to SnowRunner. Today, we're hoping we're going to finish off the Tamir and Russia. I'm here with the, the big drill part that's needed for the final big mission, the Derek Delivery, which needs to go to the oil field. Uh, meanwhile, Sammy and Pups. Hey guys. RGB crew. RGB. Uh, RGB. Do you want to explain what you're working on while I carry on driving? Uh, got some final scouting to finish off over in um, over in Senegal, so a couple of upgrades to get uh, mostly there now, so we should, we should finish that off shortly. And Mr. Puppies? I am just repairing the truck and refueling it. So you just, um, the up, one of the upgrades you just found something, that was for this um, vehicle, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, the 16.1 litre, because it's all important about the 0.1 at 16 litres, right? Um, for the Azov, yeah. So next time I'm in the garage, or at least when we go to Alaska, we can take a big engine upgrade if we were sticking with the with Russian trucks anyway. Well, I, I may have to fill out the import forms to take this tatter into Alaska because it is amazing. You know, it's funny because um, I think the assumption was that Alaska would be the hardest, but I think the Russian map is probably, on balance, more challenging. Well, we, the, the progress uh, route we took was the same as the... Um, although, in fact, with the Twitch save, we, we started in Russia, didn't we? And it was an incredibly difficult experience, and we soon realised that we basically need to dump the American trucks and go for the Russian ones. It's just... It wasn't happening, was it? Things no. were just getting so bogged down. Yeah, I mean, if you want a challenge, just start your game in Russia. <laughs> yeah. I mean, said that the early parts of Michigan were pretty tricky in places like the farm, when you don't even have proper mud ties. It was not easy. No, you are right. Um, but there's not, you know... I'm not saying I'd like them to restrict where you can go and like where you can start from, but it would be nice to have a little bit more structure, maybe. Um, just feels like a story could perhaps bring you through this route rather than anything else. But generally speaking, it's just the Russian start was hard. So this one where we actually, you know, finished Michigan first before we came here, we were able to jump in, relatively speaking, some high spec trucks from the outset, weren't we? Yeah. I'm coming through the tunnel from Quarry to um, Zim. Okay, Sammy, you got any repair things left on that? I might have a few. Also, pay pups. Hey! <laughs> Just come through the trees. Well, I've just left the garage area in Zim. I'm on route. Yeah, I could have nipped into uh, nipped into the garage and got the bigger engine. Just for the wall. Yeah, because that's what you want, something that'll drink fuel at 30 litres a minute, not just 20. Yeah, so the old one had a fuel consumption of B+, plus. this has a B-. minus. <laughs> but the power to weight goes from A minus to A plus. The size of the fuel tanker on this compared to the, the amount the engine burns is just crazy. Watch out for the trailer around there. Yeah, yeah, I see it. And it's like what? You can actually see it? Happy little accidents with that trailer. Lots of sparks flying. <laughs> Did you repair what you gave it, sir? No, I'm dragging it back to you. 
I'm in the same trouble as you, so if you want to use your repair point or not, speed round. Paul seems to be having some trouble reconnecting his trailer. Well, he keeps saying the trailer's too far away, even though I'm like right there on top of it. Well, I've just got my new Super Duper engine. Why would I need a push? <laughs> yeah! I think something's actually dragging in the mud or the rock. I think the back axle's on a giant rock, you see? Oh, hang on. Let me, uh... while saw me appeared. Hey! Is it really, really weird that I've got like a full-size medium truck and my scout vehicle is three times the size of what that is? Yeah. <laughs> that does look a bit weird. I may have damaged this side of the by dragging it through. <laughs> Yeah, the last ten percent. Yeah. I'm slowly forcing my way through this tunnel. I don't know about you, Sammy, but for me, it says a hundred and a hundred. Yeah, that's how you won't be able to fuel it. All will need to fuel it. Because for me, it says zero. So you need me to jump in that vehicle to refuel it. I'll just drag it next to the fuel trailer and then you can refuel it from there. Actually, no, I don't think you'll be able to do that. You'll have to do um, like swapsies with the fuel, I think. See that new upgraded engine's working good for. Yeah, increased power to weight ratio. Let me just grab on the branch a little bit. There. I mean, to be fair, this thing is quite heavy, right? Yeah, Paul, could you jump back to the, the tattering that's parked in the garage? Uh, and do what? Uh, and refuel the step 310. You might have to put truck recovery in your active as well. Okay, I've refueled it. Yeah, there you go. I'll do it. That's done. So for me, Paul, your trailer is like stuck on a the massive rock. Yeah. Oh, there goes the tree. Try again, Paul. So, oh, the trailer you didn't attach. What do you want? Synchronization in multiplayer now? Do you want to see the same things I do? Patreon, right? You see it now? Yeah. There's so many things that I can winch onto that when I winch, they just go, nope, and go flying off the screen. <laughs> just see bits of tree flying past going, yeah, good luck, buddy. It's like, you want to do what now? Nah. Right, can you get in front of me? That's what, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Because, um, there aren't any winch points.
a GP crew. Hope you boys have bought some fuel. Oh, have yeah, we've spare. Got a little, yeah. Have you done the other mission? Yep. So we've got all the upgrades and everything. Yep. Yep. Boys. Do you need some fuel? Uh, I mean, I'm on 120 at the moment, so I'm not desperate, but. We'll just stay with you, okay? I can get to you in a second, so. That scout vehicle, Did the you engine. Get that? I've got 176 now. Yep, yeah, good. Right, carry on. A scout vehicle, the engine tick over sounds like a train more than a scout. <laughs> it's probably a train engine. What's that coming over the hill? It's a so me. It's a so me. <laughs> Mode is quite thick, apparently. Yeah, it looks it. This is probably the most trickiest part of this one. Oh yeah. yeah. It's the camber, isn't it? Yeah, well, if, I if you do where if you go where sure. I am. I don't even I don't know if your trailer has winch points at the back either. It does. Okay. So I already used it. <laughs> I conveniently placed boulder. Thank you very much, game. Mate. This is probably harder than that. That looks very muddy there, but. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I want to swing left here, don't I? I basically go straight through the trees. But... What does that mean? Like literally this way. And then along here, and then through these two trees. This way is easy enough as well. If you want to follow. And then just straight up the hill. Need a pull, mate. No, he's got the upgraded engine, it's fine. Got the horses, it just takes time to get it down in the mud. Actually, oh no, that's fine. Oh, yeah, bringing it home. 
Alright, we're ready for a big cutscene. Oh. Yeah. Promotion. Drilling operation is underway. So that's all the Tiger Oil, Trans Tamir, Voronoz done. Just the one mission left, which is Lost Instruments, which we're not going to bother with. RGB. The RGB crew does it again. Yeah, look at that. It's more like BRG right now. <laughs> well, read left to right, or spin your camera around, and it will be RGB. Yeah, if you put, if you look in a mirror, this is RGB. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's Russia done. Tamir done. Um, shall we? Just have a quick sniff in Alaska. Just jump over and uh, have a look around. Okay, we are in Alaska. It's snowing. RGB is here with the scouts. Oh yeah. If we have a look at the map, we have some watchtowers. Three to do, so we're going to pick one each. And then also there's lots of road that's actually in shade. So even if you get the watchtower, it won't actually unlock anything. So what we thought we'd do is quickly go and do the watchtowers. And if we see any upgrades on the way or anything useful, we'll... we'll deal with it which way do you guys want to go uh head uh head out of the gate turn left and then sort of head in the a general southwesterly direction i reckon all right so you're taking the southwest one well i was going to take the far north west one to the little one okay up to where do you want to go um i can take the one to the to the west, past the metal bridge that's broken. Okay, I'll just kind of head north out of here then and see where it goes. These, these trucks take so long to start, don't they? Splash, splash. Splash, splash. Oh, I should probably have put chains on this thing, shouldn't I? Doesn't have chains. It doesn't have any. Nope. Oh well, hope it don't beat any ice then. Oh, that's so fun on ice! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for them to do more snow maps. I'd like to see ice at cracks, depending on how much weight you have on your vehicle. Yeah, I think everybody was disappointed in the fact that it didn't do that. Okay, so this pipe is in fact blocked. Can I get underneath it with this thing? I wonder. Oh, I can't. Oh my god, they've carefully yep. done it so that you glitch and bounce but you can't actually nip underneath that pipe actually I might be able to do it further back up oh, I actually could do it that way hmm I reckon this is doable I love the way your tyres go white as well when the snow gets on them yeah such a I, I love the, the snow texture on your vehicle as well like the bodywork and stuff yeah, and if you look carefully, it's like on the windscreen. Yeah, around the edges, yeah. I will get under this point. <laughs> oh, come on. As if game. Wow, well, okay. That's I mean, a I know... I already knew the answer, I just wanted it to keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep... Me, me and Pups haven't already tried to do that at all. Like, <laughs> There's so much headroom, and it still pushes you into the ground. Right, I've done it. Got through. 
scumbag. Turn your hacks off, Paul. Well, it just I just had to go further down so the pipe went high. But now I'm through it. I've discovered Do you think something the scenery is actually individually placed or is it like computer generated? Probably a combination. Yeah, so do you think like they highlight all the corners and go, ah, oh, I will put a stump here to make the corner cutting impossible? Yeah. I mean, there's got to be a certain amount of generation. You're not going to go and individually craft this, but equally they're going to come back over it and fine tune it. Yeah, this thing doesn't go. Yeah, it's just. It's the one vehicle that I do condone bringing to Alaska. Because <laughs> it is just so built for this terrain, you know? Do you not fancy buying one of these in real life, something? Uh, I know people with very, very similar ones to this. Take it to McDonald's drive for you. I'd love to. I would I genuinely to love to do that. send you some photos. No, I would. I would. I would totally go pro that and put that on YouTube. Yeah, not the only one. <laughs> Just drive yeah. through McDonald's with a massive Russian scout vehicle. <laughs> Just leaning out of the hatch, going, "It can I have a Big Mac, <laughs> Big Mac meal, yeah, large, yeah." <laughs> I mean, it's not as fun anymore because obviously most of the drive throughs have now got like a CCTV system, so they see you before they serve you. But back in the, the back, like 10 or 10 years ago when I was first doing it and we used to go through a drive through obviously they wouldn't know what vehicle you were in yeah. until you pulled around the corner and parked in front of the server patch. And at which point, the reaction was not PG at all. <laughs> I, I would have somebody in a vehicle behind with the camera as well, just so you get the outside view. Oh, that would be amazing. And then like a GoPro on the side. And one looking at them and one looking at me. And then just do it. <laughs> Warning, water over road. Oh, really? Is that what you call them? Let me see how scared this vehicle is. This is so pretty up here, though. These people who live in Alaska, though, I mean, in the six months of, of, like, the year when it's light, it must be incredible. But in winter, oh, my God, can you imagine? I, I think I'd be okay with, the like, the temperature side of it. I, but the, the daylight hours thing, I think, would do me... Oh, yeah, the temperatures. No, you might start wearing proper size trousers, right? You probably would have to put your big boy trousers on. Uh, crash? Yeah. Uh, somebody left the game, probably left the game. Somebody discovered something and then you both got booted out. So I discovered a watchtower and then got booted out. So. Uh, I discovered a watchtower and I didn't get booted out. Didn't we have that one last time? I thought that bug had been fixed. I don't think that fixed it. Well, yeah, discover a watchtower, you get kicked out. Yeah, so, I mean, for you guys watching at home, the multiplayer side of this game is anything but sorted. It's still very unstable and glitchy. Well, it's pretty much safe for progress. It's just we're not here. <laughs> like... Yeah, I mean, you, you join the game and you still see the watchtowers I've got unlocked, so that's still safe. Yeah. It's just that all your vehicles are back at spawn. It's worse when you get watchtowers when you haul and stuff. I remember that happening. <laughs> yeah, oh, we'll just do this on the way through and... Rip.
which is one of the reasons why we started getting me to buy the trailers, wasn't it? So that if that does happen, at least the trailer stays put. Yeah. It's a bit of a faff, but organisationally it's, it's a lot easier to sort out the remnants rather than, you know, dealing with the consequences each time. I, I must imagine that they tested the single player but not the multiplayer very well. Or they just didn't care about the multiplayer and released it anyway. Well, I just... Oh, I don't know. If it is just out of testing and lack thereof, then, you know, fine. I don't think it's excusable, but it is a thing. But if they've not been paying attention to any sort of post-content releases, then it's never going to get fixed, is it? No. I wonder how many people play it in multiplayer. Mm, yeah. I mean, it's by far the f most fun way of doing it. Oh, totally. Okay, hopefully this won't crash for you because I'm doing it. Nope, still here. Nice. Yep. I can already see an upgrade right near me that you're going for something. Um, I think that's your side of the pipeline, actually, and not my side of the pipeline. Oh, is it? Yeah. If you carry on into the oil yard or whatever it is. You know, I absolutely hate it when it pings the camera vertically. When you go near a tower or some tall object and it flicks the camera so it's looked, like, down on the vehicle. <laughs> GTA, uh, what was it? GTA 2 camera. So disoriented. Yeah, the upgrade's the other side of the pipe. Found the hammer. Yay. The hammer is actually pretty decent once you get it upgraded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, without the upgrades, it's, it's like just the most dreadful thing. Great suspension for a freight line. I'm going to grab this upgrade. Which is a, a V16 for the Western Star and Caterpillar 74C. This, this vehicle is just literally go anywhere. <laughs> Yep. Right, so we've got everything unlocked. So it looks like on the west we've got a stone fall thing to clear up. Rock fall to clear up. And there's an upgrade on the west. And a Royal BM-17. There's a port on the south. Southeast has got something else, which we've not discovered yet. Um, oil tanker... Radio station, sawmill up north, drilling site in the middle. Lots and lots to do at the North Port by the look of it. And then we've also got the White Valley, Mountain River and Pedro Bay to do. So that's, Yay. that's a lot of stuff. So I think Alaska's going to... God, it's beautiful here though. Oh my god. The, the snow is the most pleasing, isn't it? It is genuinely pretty here. Right, I think that brings this video to an end though, so we're going to have to carry on the next one and start on Alaska.